Lantern begins to walk into the foundation of Ringil Tower after our company has been tracking the whereabouts of the sister of Roper Gray. Eventually right, finding okay. their home and then the mess that remained there. They tracked a very stinky path to Ringil Tower and after cleaning up in the Grey Flood River, they decided to venture into this very large crack in the foundation of Ringle Tower right on the Grey Flood River, Lantern leading the way. All right, okay, all right. You know, that, that heart something fierce, that smack. Ow. What? Oh, Sorry. it's dark in here. Oh, all right. Are you, are you, you coming? Yes. Yeah, I'm right behind you. Okay, all right. Remember, twice like a bar an owl if there's trouble. Twice like I a bar an owl. I got it. Okay. Don't right. get eaten. Don't get eaten, okay? Right. As Should you, be trying really hard not to. Right. No. Should be fine. As you make your way to the uh, foundation, um, the... The actual tower itself is quite large, um, the foundation being maybe about 500 feet wide or so. The crack, which probably from a distance looked rather small, is quite large, um, probably about uh, 15 feet wide at the base and um, traveling up through the uh, lower portion of the tower. Um, Lantern leading the way, both Toddles and Piper follow. All right, so um, I've got the rock, so if we make any twists and turns, we'll do an arrow. Yeah, oh, that sounds that's... good. And um, we should right, stay really close together because yeah. you're quite smelly. Right. We're a right. little bit smelly, but not as smelly as you. Am I? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm masking your smell, yeah. right? Yeah, right. The entrance of this uh, this crack, um, you can see that there's a lot of muck and and mold, um, moss covering the the walls of this um, dirt sodden area. Um, a lot of the damp has come in, probably from high tides here and there of the uh, of the Gray Flood River or flooding from the Gray Flood River, rather. Um, the uh, it's it's every step you take is a bit a little squishy and disgusting. So, what are we? I mean, what are we expecting to? I think we'll hear it breathing or something. I mean, like a like a. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Maybe. Or is it? Is it? Well, but it came from the water. Maybe. maybe. Like, Did a, like a kind of a, sound like a fish or something. <laughs> Like a, like a, oh my god, was that it? Did you hear that? Was it behind us? That was Piper. Was that oh, you, that Piper? Was me. That was yeah, amazing. That was very good. Sorry. Sorry. Very no, good. don't, don't do that again. That was amazing. Yeah, thanks. I just thought about good. what it would be like to, to drown. Right. No, let's not think about that. That, that's a completely, that's like another danger on top of this danger. Let's not go. Right. right. That's fine. What's a little more danger? <laughs> no? No? It's okay. A, it's a little more danger. I, I don't... I... Like a tiny amount? Like a teaspoon? A teaspoon. Teaspoon amount of danger? Right, but hmm. I mean, it's, even a teaspoon will overfill a cup. So, I mean, I, I don't think yeah, we need more true. danger. That's true. Teaspoon. I could go for a, a teaspoon cup. of something, though. Yeah, if if oh, it's sugar. a thing where you've got all the Funny. water on top and it's got yeah. like, the, it, it looks like a bubble because it's so full and then you put a teaspoon on there to fall. It'll, Wait, it I'm sorry. Spin. You're putting in the a sugar after? What? Sugar after what? You're putting no, you the put sugar the sh in after? You put the sugar in first. Yeah, and then you pour the hot water yeah. and then you, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then okay, you, just so we're clear. 
Yeah. Wait, no, I always put the sugar in after. What? Are you kidding me? No. Piper. It doesn't, it doesn't mix the same way that way. No, 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 no. I think no. it mixes you, you, just fine. No, because you got to you because it's a perfectly fine going to dissolve the sugar. Oh, no, 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 no. But no. the hot water, it goes into the hot water anyway. No, it, uh, yes, it's but different. It, it is different. It, it, like the entire <laughs> it's profile different. is different. As you continue walking, it gets darker and darker. You start to have a lot of difficulty looking around. There are some stones and pebbles about your feet as you continue. Uh, Lantan, you are keen-eyed, correct? Uh, I believe so. I have got a pretty good uh, uh, awareness about me. So I'm referring to an actual uh, trait that you have. You are keen-eyed, right? Uh, I am... Um, where are those traits? At the top One left. I at the top left at keen eyed. Keen eyed. Indeed I am. Distinguishing features. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can see a little bit better than Toddles and Piper. As you're making your way through. Um, <clears throat> all of you, please make awareness checks. Oh boy. Right, okay. It's probably fine, right? That's Wait, a what, favor. Oh, was that like a, a? Was that like a? Oh, I just succeeded out m m my ears, or was that a, I failed? No, I failed. No, I, that that, that is a failure. favored skill. I okay. think my smell is is throwing me. Oh off. no! <laughs> well, this has turned out to be okay very good. <laughs> I don't know. They seem oddly unfocused at any given task. So far, no squawking, though. Uh, I, if they the get into in. trouble, I imagine we'll hear the screaming. No. Oh, you you put, put the milk in first. Yes, you do. Yeah. No, 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 no. You're you put probably the, arguing you about put the water food. in, and then the sugar, and then the milk. Hey. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you put the milk in the you cup the, first. You put the milk in the cup first, yeah. No. Okay, so wait, I've wait, always wait. done that. You know why you're, you know why you're always like, wow, Toddles, your tea tastes so good. What do you do? That's it. That's well, it. I, I will tell you, it. your tea is remarkable, but now yes. I'm questioning my own taste, taste buds, because frankly, uh, the milk in first. No, no, no. You, you can, I, I believe that for milk, you can do both. I, I, I think that, yeah, because one, it's going to cool down, right? It's going to cool it down. What a nice right. fence you're sitting right. on there, right. Lon. Well, I, I like to put the sugar in first and then the hot water, it purely... You know, it dissolves the, the honey and, and 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 then and then you can put the milk in afterwards when the I, when it's already hot. No, that's and, blasphemous. It's not blasphemous. No, it's a, it is a bit. No, my my. I'm yeah. never having tea I at your house again. Tell. It did no. It dissolves the 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 honey or the sugar either one did perfectly well when it's hot, and and then and then then once it's once it's dissolved and you've got your hot water and you've got you know. You're you're steeping uh, 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 your tea there, and 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 then you put the the milk in. No, it. because what That's happens right, because is the milk you, makes when it you're cold. Pour, no, because when you're point, pouring in the milk afterwards, the three right, of you, it's going to be on top, and then slowly. The three the of you can't <laughs> see on, each on. other anymore. <laughs> Jesus on, fucking Christ! <laughs> <laughs> Never in it's my life have I had to scream over players before. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. You've got hobbits. <laughs> I can't see you guys anymore. I have lights to turn on and off. <laughs> hold, Did hold you see that me. thunder in the sky just now, Rio? That was odd. Hold on. Hey. No, so like it, it sinks oh, it down to the bottom, right? But if it's already on the bottom when you pour in the water, then it swirls up with the rest of the tea. It just, it mixes better. Where are you? Am I shouting at you? Toddles, you, you trip and fall. All right. <laughs> Stumbling on some rocks. Your hands land in the muck in the mud. What was that? On your knees, kind of squished into the mud there. What was that? I don't know. Oh, I, hello? You're, you're, are you staying back there? I, I can't. No. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Right. Let's just wait here. Lantern, please make out. an awareness roll for me. Just reach out for me, okay? And then, and I'm looking for. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. oh perfect. Um, Lantern, you think you heard something, and um, turning around because you've kind of lost your bearings a little bit. Right. Um. You see something flickering in the distance. Oh. How would you like to spend your two extraordinary successes? So I believe the first thing I want to do is uh, gain insight. It's the first thing I want to do. Um, uh, and then go quietly. Yeah. I'm sorry. What was the first one? Uh, gain insight into what I'm I'm okay. picking up there. Gives you the impression that there is a torch ahead. Okay. All right. Okay. I, I don't know. Can you see that? There's a little bit of light there. Okay. It, I mean, it's, it's it's torch light. That's not sunlight. So something's lit it. Right? Okay. Oh, okay. what does that mean? I don't View know. Over here. Let's bring chat over here too. I can't see right now myself, so I guess that's see a little bit. <gasps> Can you? Maybe I'm in the wrong place. Going to move your Zoom camera off. for you. Thank you. Can you see now? Oh, I. <laughs> okay. Seeing a little bit of something there. Other than the light. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, all right, all right. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. We're close to something, but we don't know what that something is. And our two strongest ones are back there. Should we start putting a little like an owl now, or? Um, maybe. Don't we want to find us? Like an actual visual on it. We're supposed to bring information back. But uh, if there's a problem, how how straight was our um was our descent here? It, Tough it, to we're, say. We're, you you maybe got an idea. Give me a travel roll since you are the one asking. Favorite skill. Look at that. Look at that. Um, it's It was actually fa- a little bit windy. Um, you know, um, you had to put your hands on the walls to kind of get your bearings. And the light faded reasonably quickly. So a little windy, but it didn't appear like there was any um, offshoots from the wall or anything, like any, any breaks in the path, any T-junctions or anything. Well, I think at this point we have enough information to know that something's down here that can light torches. Now, I don't know if a thing that, you know, made that mess in that house. Maybe you think something's feeding it. Oh, I, I didn't even think about that. I, maybe. Feeding it? Yeah. Hey. Feeding it what? Hobbits? Well, well, hopefully not. Right, hopefully not. Should we turn around and, and go and get and try and get them then? I, I and guess let, so. Yeah. All right, let's slowly back out of here. We'll go tell them what we see, and then I imagine we'll be coming back, so... There is a a sound from further in that you hear, Lawton. Did you hear that? No, what was it? Hear something, Ralph. Someone's Ralphin. I swore I heard something. Direct to bed, Percy. Okay. It's still daylight out. Still daylight out. I'm gonna look around just to make sure. <gasps> Maybe the They're guards gonna... have come back and we are another prisoner. Oh no, oh no, oh no. They're gonna look. They're gonna look. Um, oh, uh, hide, hide. I don't know. There's, there's pebbles. Hide. Find 
fire. Nearby, <laughs> nearby Lawton, you can see that there is a crack in the wall. Um, just barely making it out in the dark. Over that way. Okay, all right. I, I, this way, this way. Come on. Come on. Ooh, wait. Ooh, wait. It is a right. very tight squeeze. Grab those rolls. Head with me. Watch, watch me. Uh, I'm trying to hide as well. Yeah, I, I'm... I'm probably, unless someone's pushing me, am I in the wall? <laughs> it's it it's a tight squeeze. You basically have to, it's like uh, those people that go caving that freak out Brad on his stream. Oh, oh it's, no. It's a pretty tight squeeze. Oh, no. Yeah. no. Oh, goodness. Um, Piper and Toddles, do you listen? Do you follow? Yeah, I'm hiding yeah. too. Okay. Yeah. Um, give me stealth rolls, all three of you. Success for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Lawton, an 18. Uh, Piper, you've gotten a 22 extraordinary uh, successes. You've gotten two extra special successes. Oh. And one fail from Toddles. Piper, how would you like to spend your extra successes? Um... Well, so I'm trying. I'm trying to go quietly already because it's a stealth. So I think I would like to. Um, could I? Could I widen my influence and take? Can you turn with my me? failure into a not failure so I don't get caught, please? Yes, I want to do that one. Cancel a failure. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, Lawton, you squeeze your way into the crack. <gasps> what did you do with your second one? Widen influence, and then also. Oh. Uh, yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. Uh, Piper follows behind. Piper, you grab Toddles. Uh, Toddles, um, you, uh, sort of squish yourself in there. It's very uncomfortable as you make your way into this, uh, crack in the wall. As you're positioned, you don't hear anything at first. And then there was a vibration. Something round here. What? Pebbles and rocks begin to fall in the crevice around you. They begin to crumble along and fall on your shoulders and your head. And toddles, you see this large gray and green shape just out of sight. Something is moving. You can't quite see it in the dark. There's a little bit of a reflection on Whatever this creature is, it is far oh, bigger Jerry. than anything you've seen before. Hey. What is that? Oh. Oi! You guards! You have another one for us, then? Start smacking you a little bit. Like, I mean, I can't really move, but you know, I'm doing that thing of like, I told you, you know. You're right, you're right. Oh, oh. Why? Oh my god. Why? 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 Why?
must be hearing things rats again. Oh, I hope we catch some of them. Good use for nice spice. <laughs> Ooh, I'm getting hungry. Sound sounds like it's getting further away. Couldn't see. Couldn't see. Did I say something about the no? Do you have another one? I think so. Okay. How? When? When? We... When? When do we let them know? I. 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 I... Now, I, I guess. Right I, now. I say, yeah, we'll get out and then, and then we'll, we'll slowly and quietly head back in that direction. And, and as soon as we see light and the en entrance, and then we, we run. I don't know. Okay. That sounds sound okay. bigger than a person, right? I mean, that was heavy for it falls. Okay. Okay. All right. You, you. You go. Oh. oh, am I stuck? Oh no! Can you grab my arm? Yeah. Grab my arm. I can help you. Yeah. Outside. Anduin, the <laughs> old. It's been some time since the hobbits have left. I know I sent them in, but I, uh, I did not think it'd be so deep. Right. right. This place does not look that big from the outside. Must be a long, winding tunnel or something down there. Aye. Uh, maybe we should go have a look. I'm starting to agree. I haven't heard... I don't hear anything. I don't think they'd be in trouble yet, but maybe they're so deep that if they yelled, we wouldn't hear them. It is quite likely. Um, okay. Well, I don't mind the dark much. I just wanted to make sure that if there was something in there, we could, you know, see them before they saw us. But at any rate, I think we've given them quite the, uh, the heads up. All right, then. Let's go. All right. Stone, dark, and underground. You should feel right at home here, I suppose. And that I do. Thank you kindly. Although I don't fancy the smell too much. All right. But quietly now. Uh. Yep, it definitely stinks in here. I... Okay. Let's try and keep it down. We don't want to disturb anything. Be it creatures or the rocks, we don't know how loose things are in here. Hobbits right. travel lighter. Can you see the tracks left by our three little ones? I and can follow their footsteps. Have a look. Uh, Lord Master, would I be able to try and either travel or scan to find our compatriots. Absolutely. Um, this will be a scan roll, I believe. Okay. Then scan it is. And fail I did. Rolling There's a, 13. a lot of muck here. It's kind of hard to um, find these little hobbit footprints. Mm. Uh, like I said, hobbits travel light. It seems mm. the cave breaks into a few different ways, and, well, dwarf caves right. don't have as much muck. I'm a fairly experienced tracker. I can probably find them even with the muck were it not so dark in here. If I light a torch, I worry I may draw attention to us. I... I had the same fear. I suppose we could just keep pressing on for a time. 
how many different ways are there to go? How hard would it be to figure out which way they went? How um, long is a piece of string? There really isn't um, a huge amount of different paths to take here. This is kind of one path. Um, it meanders a bit, you know, there's turns and, and twists and things. There's a lot of um, moss and damp and mold and stuff all, all on the walls. Um, it is very, very gross in here, if anything. Gotcha. The smell is not great, but you've experienced some pretty horrible smells as you've been walking, regardless. Right. This is a dead end, real. Yeah, so is that one. Right. Really, they must have taken a left here. There's nowhere else to go. Okay. In that Whether case, we can see uh, their tracks or not. Well, lead the way then, and we follow our noses. Very well. I will start walking down the tunnel, albeit slowly, trying to hopefully hear the hobbits before they hear me. Okay. Making your way into the muck and the grime, you maybe touch the walls here and there. Uh, and when you can see uh, a little bit uh, in here, and Ryoth, um, you're used to dark spaces. Um, we so like I, the dark. Yeah, I think um, I think you can see reasonably well. Um, let's see here. What did I set you to? Oh, I don't think I did. Uh, okay. Uh, you do, in fact, like the dark. Uh, who's right. leading the Where way? Was the it dark? Anduin or Ryoth? Uh, I... he, he just sent me up front. I mm. thought he would lead the way. I said lead the way, but I likely would have walked ahead of him. It's a... <laughs> lead the way as he walks in front of me. <laughs> Strange way of putting it. So I would probably have gone ahead. Okay. Do we have free control of uh, the tokens now? You do. Okay. Oh, we have tokens. Yes, you do. All right. So I would suggest we stay on the left, hand on the wall and keep going. Works for me. When you, uh, are encountering new caves and new tunnels, you always want to stay on one side. That way, eventually, you will come around and see everything. Always um, left. I don't know if we are supposed to be able to see this or not, Whack, but there is, uh, mm -hmm. do yeah. I see, you can do see. I see this? Oh, yeah. You do see I see a this large... large creature with the club? Yes, you do. <laughs> You see I just a rather <laughs> large real. creature uh, turning and walking away from a torch. The torchlight is just kind of reflecting uh, off of its large backside as it continues to walk down the path. Yeah, well, while Rio is narrating to me the finer arts of tunnel exploration, I just look up from him further down the tunnel, see that thing, and then just one hand on the shoulder and kind of other hand over the mouth. Like, shut up. Ryoth, give me a stealth check. Okay. Uh, you have one bonus die. One bonus die. We'll see how much use this is going to be. A total failure. Okay. Um... Hmm? Is that some heat? Maybe the guards again. Guards. Oh, I released the hand from his mouth. If you want to say something? Guards? Uh, we should hide. But where are the hobbits? 
I don't know, but if they were down here, there would have been thrashing noises. We should just back up entirely. You reckon so? Okay. Hmm. Huh? What's that? Uh, oh, Percy, we got dinner! As you begin to rush towards the uh, opening for the crack, you see this large stumbling stone troll begin to rush down the passage towards you. Are you running away? Oh, absolutely. It's, it's running at us, not the hobbits, yes. correct? Oh, yes. We're, we're leaving. <laughs> okay. I would like you to make um, some checks for me, please. Okay. This is going to be athletics checks. Athletics. Okay. Uh, hmm. Do I have any hope? I suppose I do. I would like to cast... we we'll use a bonus die for this. Do you have, um... Never Ooh, mind. That is a Gandalf, Gandalf rune. And a success from Anduin. Anduin, uh, Rios, as you turn and rush away as this stone troll begins to chase after you. You rush through the stone this way. cave, uh, pushing along the walls, trying to get as much distance as possible. Come here! Come here! Move. Keep moving. It's right behind us. I can hear. The club is dragging along the uh, sides of the walls. <laughs> As this uh, large creature is lumbering, getting closer and closer to you, you can see light up ahead as you uh, see the edge of the foundation uh, just up ahead. And the view of the stone troll begins to get closer and closer but you outpace it and you hear uh, this uh, grumbling yell and scream as you leap forth from the foundation jumping out into the light <laughs> you see a large hand reaching out towards you just making its way outside the crack into the sunlight recoiling in pain as steam begins to rise up from where the sun and the hand connect with the light. You spill out onto the ground outside. <sighs> I think we can... The I stop, stop mid-sentence because I realize the troll might hear what we're saying and I don't want to mention the hobbits. Oh, okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I'll make a roll. Okay. Oops. What's a bobby then? Come back in here. I've got your scent. Come back in here. I need a nice late night snack. The guards usually bring you your snacks, huh? What do you know of it? I heard you say guards. If they're coming down there, are they feeding you? Mm. Maybe I could go talk to them and see if we arrange another snack. Mm. You would bring us more food? Depends. There's a piece of food I'm looking for. Um, I'm gonna hold up the badge that we took from Edward's house. The man that was wearing this. 
I can't see. Bring it closer. I will walk closer, but I will still say you know, a good enough distance that even if it lunges, you know, I'm going to stay like a good 10 feet back so I don't get grabbed and hold it up. Make a persuasion check, please. <laughs> Come on, Gandalf. <laughs> nope. <laughs> A five is you you see like a smile on the on this creature's face maybe just barely it's just a little bit into the light <laughs> food food it doesn't matter where it comes from can I I want to point back at the house that had the hole knocked in the side of it with the pile of manure in it and say, what about that house? Do you know who lived back there? Did you eat that food already? A house. There's many houses in ruins here. Do you usually go to houses to stool? Stool? We think no. I stool's just fine. No. Did you... Did you take a crap in someone's house? Mm hmm? <laughs> How we dressed? I... I don't think we're reaching him. Uh, the talking does seem kind of pointless with this one. Mm. Did you eat Edward? I'm just gonna be more direct about it since trying to be coy isn't working. Did you eat Edward or his wife? Eh? We've been trying to find them for days. Is it God's Edward? Edward? We love to people and bring the gods bring him. <laughs> so the gods do bring him. You know, I had thought if we brought the guard here that they simply wouldn't be helpful. I didn't realize they were in league with these things. Aye. To hear they're complicit. So it sounds like maybe perhaps a murder. Wait. But... I think... If... It, it suddenly makes sense why there was no blood in the house. If the trolls had broken in and killed him, there would have been Aye. a mess. He was killed by humans. They cleaned up the blood, and they threw the body in here to get rid of it. Huh. You reckon so? I do. And then if I... anything ever went wrong, they could blame the trolls. I suppose that sounds plausible. How do we get the three little ones out of there? They're behind him. Yes, please get us out. Wait, what the... What? Sorry. You hearing things? Um... So... Nice weather we're having here. Weather? You have food or not? Uh... Yes. Oh, what you got? Um... Uh... What do I have? You have a fresh child? I'm all fresh out of children, uh, unfortunately. Mm. Then be gone with you. Leave this place. No, no, you. Hmm? Are you threatening me? What are you going to do about it? You come in here and we'll find out. You come out here and we'll find out. No. Mm. Wolfman? It appears we are at an impasse because I do not want to fight that thing in the dark and it will not come out into the sun. Aye. Uh, 
begins I to suppose. turn around. <laughs> Wasting my time for That's what I thought. Back. <laughs> begins to turn around and walk away. You see it scratch its butt. <laughs> um, given that I have already walked up fairly close to the thing, I'm at this point trying to look past it to see if the three hobbits are nearby because I don't want it to turn around right into them. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. Um, you, I, I, you're outside right now, so you're off this map. Um, right. but, right. um, yeah, I don't think you can see them. The troll would be could blocking most of the way. To, could we have tried to sneak when we saw the troll go by? Did we hear them at all? You definitely could have heard them. They weren't being quiet. Okay. okay. Could um, we try to sneak the, the when they go by? the troll run right past your hiding yeah, spot? That's what I'm it's wondering, impossible yeah. to miss. It absolutely did run right past your hiding spot. Uh, okay. Hobbits, what would you like to do while all this is going on? Should we roll some stealth, friends? Mm-hmm. See has if we my, can get out of here. I think that's a good arm, idea. Has my arm been pulled out of socket yet? No, <laughs> no, no. Trying? No, I would not do that to you. <laughs> is it another valor roll and a shadow point for my children? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I think we can try and see if we can sneak out of here, sure. You're going to try and sneak past the troll? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. You well, as the... The troll, the troll ran pa chasing them, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what I'm wondering is, can we run out right as oh. the troll is chasing them and try to get to another, pl you know, further down place, a hiding spot, hide, and then when the troll walks back in, he walks past us and then we walk out. Absolutely. Kind of you can definitely make a stealth sneak. roll to do that. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. a Everybody whole lot of try roll. and a whole lot of maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's whole... yeah, but we're a whole lot of hobbit. It'll be fine. That's true. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well... <laughs> Well, uh oh, uh oh, I need, okay. All right, uh -oh. listen. If I can get to extraordinary success here, it'll be fine. Here we go. Uh -oh. You would need three. Uh oh, that's not enough. Okay, uh -oh. um, so, uh, Toddles, you and Piper are there's like that one spot right where you're maybe about five to ten feet away from the troll and you're doing that thing where you're trying to walk by its legs while it's turning around there's not really a lot of places to hide in the earlier parts of this tunnel leading down here um but um you think like it's not going to notice you as you're walking past like you're just trying to stay out of its line of sight as you walk you know as it's turning, you're trying to move. And unfortunately, you go, let's see, I, I guess uh, trying to determine which way it's going to go. Uh, two of you are on the wrong side. Lantan, you're on the other side. Uh, mm. And Lantan, you pick the right side, I guess. You see Toddles and Piper going the other way, and you're like, oh, no. You know, you're freaking out a little bit for a second, and then you realize that the troll does see them. Toddles, Piper, you see oh, the shit. troll look, look around for a second, and it sort of squints, and then looks down towards you. Huh? What's that? Did you eat a man named Edward? Edward? <sighs> <laughs> and then I run. <laughs> okay. I run after her. Okay. I need. Uh... Are, are we supposed to hoot like a howl or an owl? <laughs> I think. <laughs> yeah, you, you're so close. I think. I think that's what I'm doing as I'm running. Hoot, I'm just hoot, like, hoot, 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 hoot. <laughs> you said they've made it most of the way back to the entrance, though, right? I think we would just hear the scream. Um, you would definitely hear the scream. <laughs> it's not too far in, maybe 15 feet in or so. Um, and uh, as this is happening, I need a check from you. Toddles and Piper, you're trying to sort of run. I'm going to say you've got one more check before combat starts. Um, so I need probably... Uh, let's see. I'm going to say it's either going to be an athletics check or, oh boy, it's already seen you. I don't think stealth is going to work here. This might only be an athletics check. There's no possible way for me to succeed without I'm, a specialty rune. Yeah, so cross your you, fingers for me. What are your, what are your distinctive features? 
what? Uh, top to stick left. Stick to features. Do you like maybe have bios. one that might help? Uh, and I have a question after Mary, this. Mary, faithful, and tether. Before need rolls, oh. I have a question. Oh, no, I oh. don't think so. Not, not for the situation. No. If, I'm eager. Uh, so I, I, I'm <laughs> hidden right now, right? So they, they're, they, this, this thing's chasing Has after not them seen with the screaming. And yeah, they've gone, I guess, to its uh, right side as it's turned around, and you are on the left side. And it's looking I, down their way. I want to throw my spear at them. Um, and I'm aiming for their Run into legs to see if I can... You? I'm trying to trip them up. Oh. Um, so. Okay. Uh, That's one way to avoid combat. <laughs> I think this is probably a battle. This is like a battle roll. I think you're trying to do like a tactic here to try and let your friends escape. Uh, that's kind of what it sounds like, because that's <laughs> no. normally what you do when you're in a defensive uh, uh, position in the in the combat, right? Is you do a battle roll to try and defend your friends. I think this is that. I think that's as close as we can get there. I can only add a hope, right? I can't stack hopes for one roll. Correct. It's, I think yeah. there's a max of one, I believe. The only way right. to stack hope is if you have a distinctive feature that applies to the situation. All right. Um... Also, well, no, I think that's already added, I guess. Because I've, I've got something called the Art of Disappearing. I don't remember what that's for. That's oh, your, that useful. That's your Hobbit stealth thing. <laughs> did I, did I... So do you two have uh, stealth at, at two, then? No, uh, I think uh, uh, by default we have three, but... Uh, so I'm not sure how that applies. But it's not favored for me. I the have same. Art of Disappearing, but... My, my stealth isn't favored and it's at three, so I'm not sure how that I wonder if you that. get to add a bonus then when you do stealth. Because I don't yeah, have that as a skill, so it would make sense that you would get to do something with it. And this is pretty look, good music. I look is it this up our in a first minute. fight altogether? Yes, it is. All right. I think it okay. is. All right, so uh, I'll do the battle roll. I'm not adding hope because I'm just... This is faith for Gandalf and that's it. So here we go. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, oh, oh my god, we got a Gandalf rune. You, that is a Gandalf yeah. rune. <laughs> you actually got it. Friendship. <laughs> you throw the spear. It's, it barely sticks into the leg of this creature. It just it gets launched. Yeah, I, so, me leg. I was trying to trip it up. That, that's the whole thing I was going for, was to throw it in the legs mid-run to try and get it to fall. Yeah. So, that, it, yeah, yeah, it you spoke it, to him. It will, uh, it will fall, <laughs> and, and Toddles and Piper, you're right there as it falls. You see this thing. It looks like it's about to fall on you as it's stumbling, and 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 it has this massive club over its shoulder. It falls sprawling right next to you. You see its like huge face almost as big as you are, land right next to both of you as it stumbles to the ground. What do you do? Um, Hoot! 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 Oh, I, 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 I have Run. been... The, the second the scream happened, I was sprinting yep. for the entrance. I just imagine so we've mostly been frozen in time while you're talking about what to do. Yeah. But uh -huh. as we unpause, yeah, I'm 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 running in there. Come on, get out! I I'm uh, right behind okay. you. Can I I can I back up and use my bowl? You can. You guys okay. have the opportunity. Lonton has given you the opportunity to either leave. But this we'd be situation. leaving him because he's stuck, right? He has engaged this creature. The spear is in it. Um, I think that oh, Lonton <laughs> would 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 be yeah, in the fight stuck, right now. Then yeah, I'm not I'm not leaving him. Okay. Absolutely not. Yeah, so I'll back up and I'll use oh, my bow. So combat is started then. <laughs> yes, okay. we are going to start combat then. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me, let me bring over the uh, the little helper sheet here. What did I do with it? There we go. Can I back up towards the entrance, though, so that I can still see? Um, yeah. Um, you are going to have the opportunity to get into the range stance. Yes, absolutely. Oh, okay. All right. Are we close enough to the entrance that we don't have to worry about lighting while fighting this creature? 
That's what um, I was asking as well. Like, will I, I still think, be able to see? Yeah, I think shoot? you're. I think you're okay. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm just okay. trying to figure if, it, like, am I looking into pitch blackness or can I like see them? Yeah, we can't see my little cheat sheet for you, unfortunately. It's, it's dynamic lighting. Uh, I'm trying to put it on the screen, and I'm like, why isn't this working? Um, sorry, my bad. Uh, okay, so. We're going to have people in their different stances in combat. Uh, We've got forward, open, defensive, and rearward. It sounds like, Toddles, you're getting into the rearward stance? Yes. Okay. Make sure you set that on your sheet down at the bottom left. It's already set, yeah. Okay. And Anduin, you've rushed in. Rios, what are you doing? I am running in, and I am unsheathing... My, uh, or my long hafted axe. Okay. And I'm in a forward stance. And do we roll initiative? How do we go? What's the turn order? Um, so the turn order is going to be determined by what stance you're in. Um, okay. so we're going to, you, the players get to go first, and mm-hmm. it's going to, det- the, your stance will determine which order you go in. Um, okay. so forward to rearward is going to go. I, I'm in a forward stance. Okay. And I, I had chosen open. Okay. So Ryod is going forward, which is extremely close combat. Uh, Anduin is going into the open stance. And um, Lonton? I'm in rear, fumbling with my bow, trying to get that sorted. Okay. Piper? Um, I am, uh, I'll be in open with my sword. Okay. Very well. This creature is still down on the ground. You basically are going to have a, uh, an opening volley that you can let loose. Toddles and Lawton. All right. So let me make sure that I can. Oh, um, I'm, I have to move my person forward. I can't see him in this light. And so, oh, I can't see him to, oh, I, oh, I don't see him at all. Even when I moved you? Um, I, oh, there he is. I'm sorry. He looks like a rock. Okay. <laughs> Let me make sure I get the sheet open and everything. I closed it. There we go. Okay. Um, Tadus, do you want to shoot first? Sure. Oh, so we, we can only have one archer here uh, <gasps> amongst the me. group. Ooh. Me. Oh. Wait, who's the other option? Is a... Uh, I've got I've got two hips and bows. I I mean, I am better with a bow. You've got, got a bow. I've got three hips and I've got a keen bow. It's all I can do. Okay. If, uh, if, uh, if I can't do a bow, then I'm useless. So what I do instead, um, as I'm fumbling with it and it's I, I just hands are shaking, I'm running for my spear to pick it up. I pick it up and then I'm in defensive, um, oh. probably getting as close to Piper as I can. Do we still get opening volleys if we're moving into a melee fight? Or is that only for the rearward stance? Um, so I didn't so, know you could only have one archer. Well, it's based on how many people are in melee, basically, is the way that it works. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, however, you need you need one archer per two people. So you need another melee person to have two archers. It's under one, not melee? Four. You need four oh, melee four. people. Oh, I see. I see. Right, so me and Rio, being in melee, make space for you. Then we would need Piper plus one more in melee to make space for Lonton. Yep. Oh shit! And okay. so we're a person shy. Does that we mean can't we do have that. To, we have to change our build then, one of us. I, Potentially. I, I, there I is a special I Hobbit trait for ignoring this requirement. So if you're going to be an oh, archer okay. dedicated, you should probably take the trait to just always be hiding in the back and ignore the numbers. I, I sort of like the idea, though, that I was fumbling with my bow, and you got yours ready so quickly, and we're, we're going to deal with that later. Okay, <laughs> all I'm right. freaking out about it, so... Okay, yeah, so then I, I got, can got fire spirit. first. Uh, okay, so, uh, to answer your question, Anduin, uh, sorry from before, um, uh, you all have one opening uh, attack that you're able to do. Uh, this can be melee, or this can be ranged. Uh, this is because Lantan managed to uh, basically get this troll to fall to the ground. So I'm going to give you all one attack. 
Oh, perfect. Well, in that case, <laughs> I'm running in with my bow in hand, but if I see the thing like on its butt because he tripped it, I just toss the bow out of my yeah, hand and go for the stab. It stumbled like forward, you know, the, the spear is kind of like stuck in its thigh or something, like, you know, a tiny bit into its thigh. And it just, it sort of splayed down onto its stomach on the ground. Oh yeah, in that case, I'm, I'm t total 100% taking a, a melee attack instead, and if I'm still able to, I'd, I'd even switch to forward stance to jump it while it's down, or distracted. Unless it's too late to switch. Um... No, that's fine. You guys basically get this as a as a surprise round kind of a thing because uh, that was a great job by Lonton. All right. Cool. Rio, <laughs> I'm good. I'm going in for the shank. All right. I'm up there as well in uh, forward stance. Doesn't matter. So e either of you mm -hmm. can go first. Doesn't matter. Okay. So I will swing down with my two, my long hafted axe with two hands. And uh, I think. Do, do we need to be able to click the creature on the map for our rolls, or are we doing it oh, manually I, somehow? You should be able to, yeah. I, I just cannot. Don't see I'm it. unable click to it. click the yeah, creature. I don't see it either. It's right there. It's there. It looks like a rock, funny it, enough. It's a like stone it's right next to me. <laughs> yeah. I, I still don't see anything. Uh, okay, I will increase yeah, your, me neither. your vision. I think I have to increase it slightly. Yeah, I had a hard time. Um, until I saw his, because he's like turned away from us right now, sort of. I've moved myself on top of like where the circle was, and I still you're didn't standing see him. on. Oh, okay. yeah, I just, I just moved him. Hang on one sec. Let me just, uh, I'm gonna just change the dynamic lighting real quick. That should work. And then maybe that should work. You see him now? Ah, I see him now. Okay. He's got the big uh, yeah, weapon. Yeah. Uh, yes, he's got the big club on uh, his shoulder. Okay. All right. So, uh, Ryoth, uh, you went to attack with the long-handed, uh, long-shafted uh, axe. Um, right. Did you make your roll already? Oh, Andu and Uh Not yet, no. Okay. I um, um mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Just trying to remember how to do it. Is is it that? Oh, total failure. Um Is that correct? I think so. I think you just rolled a one on that one. Aye. Yep. Uh, yeah, unfortunately, you go in for the axe, and uh, you try and take a swing, and this uh, large creature's sort of, like, scrambling, trying to reach out for the spear, and uh, maybe it kicks out, and you uh, you you do strike with the axe, but it, like, hits, like, a, a hard part, and it doesn't seem to, uh, you don't get good leverage on the strike, and you're not able to bring it all the way down, and it kind of kicks the axe as you attack, and it, it doesn't seem to do any damage. Okay. Ooh. Anduin, you've rolled a 15, which is a success for you uh, with your great spear. Uh, okay. While that thing is busy deflecting his axe, it has no free hand to deflect this, and I'm going to shank it. Okay. see here it does have some ds oh oh wow okay interesting uh yes that is a hit uh you score a hit you feel the uh spear it's very thick thick tough hide that you're trying to uh, pierce here and when um, there's only a few creatures that you've ever come across in your life. It, it feels almost like you're trying to pierce stone as you are driving the spear forward. It takes all of your strength and you do manage to uh, do some damage to this creature. Um, it doesn't seem to react that harshly to it. That's not a good sign. Come here! Come here! All of you, come here! And, um... 
let's see uh who's next i guess this will be piper i am open yep okay um i'm going to attack him with my sword i'll run forward and try to hack at his legs Uh, sorry, just to double check, it's not the dice one, it's the target one that I'm clicking? Yes, target and the little bullseye, and then you click on the, the troll. And you're okay. in open stance, right? At the bottom left? Oh, yes. Okay, awesome. Great success. You've got a special success. Um, when you get a special success on an attack roll... You have a sword. Let's see what you can do with the sword. Because you do have some uh, some stuff that you get to do. It's not the normal uh, successes. You actually yeah. get some different stuff. Uh, let's see. What oh, did sick. I do? Uh, combat. Okay. So, with a sword... You can do a heavy blow, which is more damage, based on your strength score. You can do fend off, which uh, is exploiting your successful attack to place yourself in an advantageous position. You can modify your parry rating, which makes you harder to hit. And uh, that would be a plus two to your parry rating. Ooh. Or you um, can do a ooh. piercing blow. But I think that that is not available to you because uh, swords, let me just see. You basically, to get a piercing blow, you have to make that 8 on your feet die a 10. Let me just see what you get for a sword. Okay. Now it's a plus 1 for a sword, so you can't do the piercing blow. Um, okay. So you can do heavy blow, which is more damage, or fend off, which is uh, increase your parry rating for the round. So one round. I think I will... Do um, so. The one round would be if he tries to attack me on yeah. his next turn. Then I have a better parry chance. Yeah, it's harder to hit you. Um, okay, I would like to take the parry option because I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be the heavy damage dealer in this fight. So I'll go with parry so that I don't get hit next time. Hopefully. Very fair. Okay, I will put a little icon on you. Let's do that so we just remember. Um, let's do this Perfect. little spiky hedgehog guy. Um, okay. And, uh, okay. And Lawton. All right. Um, so looking over the, uh, combat things, I, I'm pretty sure I have to use a main action to pick up my spear since I did throw it. Yes. Um, right. So I am going to go ahead and do that. Uh, I run over and I, I yank it out of this, um, thing's leg, thigh area. Um, and then I still get a secondary action yes um and i believe that i am i immediately tried to get as far back from it uh, as i can i am i'm freaking out so yeah i pull the spear and then i try to get um i still want to be i'm trying to get i want to be close enough to piper because i'm afraid she's right there but uh, i am i'm getting behind her and i've got the spear up and i'm just holding it up um and i i think that's all i can do that one. You are putting yourself in which stance? I, I, I'm staying. I'm staying defensive, but okay. I've 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 run behind Piper, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just I'm worried. I have no idea where to go, what to do. But I've got my spear up, and I'm just I'm standing there and shaking, and that that's all I can do right now, I believe. Okay. All right. Uh, last but not least. Toddles. Okay. Um, so I just click the button. That's the, if we've got a token, right? To target. Yeah. It's a little bullseye okay. and yep. just make sure you're in the rearward stance. I am, but how do I, uh, so I've, okay. Right. And Should no bonus die, right? It. Right. Right. Okay. Ooh, close. Uh, 16, you needed an 18. Um, I think, oh. how do you, how do you think okay. you missed this? Uh, I can't, I think it's just scary. I've never seen anything uh, like this before and I'm shaken and I'm slightly terrified and I just, I just miss. Uh, okay. 
I cannot. Do we switch stances now? So, uh, this is kind of like a surprise round, right? So you had your you. This was your uh -huh. your vo this the equivalent of your volley was this right? Okay. Okay. Um, now we will be entering like a new round. This thing uh -huh. fell. This was your your success. So now we are in a new round, and right. um, you can. Uh, as a secondary action, switch a stance if you would like to. Okay, so, well, I just read through all of um, what she can do, mm -hmm. and I'd like to do open stance. Oh, okay. Uh, so that I can do a rally. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Because everybody in a forward stance then gains a one die on their attack roll in the following round. Yeah, absolutely. So that would be nuts. Okay. Well, yeah, but, right, but you can, yeah, you can, but you won't be able to shoot your bow. Right. I know, that's but sense, yeah. I mean, that's three more die for, to totally you know, fine, it yeah. makes way more sense for me to do that at least a couple times of, uh, okay. fight. So, Fuck. Sorry. Feed me dice. Yes. So, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 as soon as I read it, I was like, oh shit, Anduin, <laughs> like I'm, I'm on it. Right, so this, yeah, yeah. so this is a great plan. Um, and that's, uh, that's part of the last round. So now we're in the new round and, uh, Anduin and Reelth, you're both in forward or was it just Reelth? Uh, I was in forward. Does that mean, I, but can I go so that they can get their bonus die or do I have to wait until the round after? Um, good question. I, I, you can go first if you want to be the okay. first one to roll here. Sure. Just so that they get their bonus yeah. die. Uh, yeah. Okay. And heart and roll as the main action for the round. Okay. Yes! <gasps> wow. Okay, Ooh. so on a successful roll, all members of the company fighting in a forward stance gain one die on their attack rolls in the following round. If Ooh. the roll produces a single success icon, then also all those fighting in open stance gain the same bonus. If the roll produces two success icons or more, the bonus is applied to all player heroes fighting in close combat stance. Very, very nice. So this is uh, currently applicable for everybody because you are yeah. technically all in close combat stances right now. Okay. So that means my next attack, if I do that instead of this again, then I can use the bonus die, right? Absolutely. Perfect. Okay. So uh, that's your turn then. Uh, yeah. That's uh, it. Unless you want to move or do any of the other secondary actions. What, uh, how, how, how do you enhearten us, though? Like, how, exactly. Yes. It, what um, happened? I. I... <laughs> oh, God. I don't. I know, right? I, uh, sorry. I, was... uh, uh, I think I just shout at you something about, like, you always put milk in before you, you know, before you do the tea. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm just continuing our no, argument. No, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. I think I just continue it, but I think everybody is just, you know. Uh... I definitely lose one die off that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's a debuff? Oh, no. Okay. I thought I thought being my normal hobbit self and showing that I wasn't, yes, exactly, uh, scared might, uh, might I'm, I'm kidding. everybody up a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Uh, <laughs> But also, uh, you know what? Actually, I could also just shout, you came back for us. <gasps> oh. Of course we oh did. My God. There was never any doubt. Now kill it. Okay. Hey. Real? Okay. <laughs> uh, so off the glancing blow from before, I'm going to get mad. And for the first time, I'm, I'm going to go... Baruch Kazad! Kazad Aymenu! And uh, swing the, the axe back down on the uh, stone troll. Uh, and by, by shouting that, uh, my attack is favored on the four, and also I make an intimidation. Ooh, my. Uh, ooh, ooh. Mustache. Intimidating your mustache right off your face. <laughs> Scaring it away. <laughs> it's a new way to shave. But now the four. <laughs> I also get to make an intimidation roll on the foe as well. Excellent. Don't forget your bonus die. And I have a bonus die, yes. That's right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so now I need to make the roll. So two-handed on the guy. Uh, a bonus die from... Uh, from Toddles, oh. and mm -hmm. it's favored. Okay. Let's see what happens. <gasps> 
Very, very nice. That is a great success. Uh, and you have a great axe. So you can do a heavy blow. You can do a fend off. You can do a... That's it. With an axe. Um, if you do a heavy blow, uh, this is a two-handed weapon. So you would get your... Uh, strength rating plus one in in damage in addition to your normal damage, or you can boost your parry. What would you uh, like to do? Uh, can heavy he not blow. do a piercing blow? No, not with an axe. Oh, not with an axe, no. Uh, heavy blow, however, it did not roll the uh, forward favored attack, I noticed. It only rolled the feet die once. Uh, so it doesn't do two feet die. Your forward, you should have gotten an extra bonus die. Uh, uh, no, I did not. Yeah, so go ahead and roll another bonus die. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay. If he's, his Baruch Kazad ability says he gets a favored attack, I think he is oh. supposed to get a second yeah. feet Oh, yeah, die. then you yeah. should. So you just go ahead and roll the feet die. Uh, just do a d12 and uh, a d6. Oh, almost. Well, Woo. yeah. And, uh, that's, and a, that's a Sauron rune. Don't get too happy about an 11. <laughs> and the D6? Yeah. There you go. So that's actually oh, two successes. Yeah. Uh, let me just see. I, I don't think you can do this twice. You actually can double down on heavy blows. <laughs> you can? Wow. Yeah, multiple successes can be used to trigger different results or the same one multiple times, right? They're under special yep, damage. I see it. So yeah. you can Let's go. double down on the heavy blow and do like 20 damage to this thing. Is that the plan? That is the plan, yes. Okay, so let's see. This is going to be six, and what's your strength rating? My strength rating is uh, seven. Seven. So eight and eight. So 16. This is for 22 damage. You bring the axe down, and you take a chunk out of this creature. It is hard as stone, but you're a dwarf. You break stones for fun. Hi. And you just uh, take a chunk out of this stone troll. <laughs> and then it takes a look at you. <laughs> Dwarf! You've heard tale of the stone trolls. They are foul creatures and they hate dwarves. It has finally seen you, Ryoth, and it does not seem happy. But you have definitely taken a chunk out of this thing. So, because I use Baruch Kazad, I also get to, in this turn, do a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, intimidation. Absolutely. Go ahead and, uh, make an all roll. Not like okay. the shouts in Skyrim. Or just like, I... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at a that. success. 18. <laughs> the hobbits are just still hooting like <laughs> uh, just our weapons up in the air yeah. <laughs> like our war cry now <laughs> okay uh, do, 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 do. okay and on an intimidate there's some special stuff for intimidate I believe because there is, uh, basically when you are in the forward stance, you can do that, uh, intimidate. How did that right. work? As an action instead of attacking. Yep. But now I can just use it. Well, this one turn. Once per fight, I can go Baruch Kazad, Kazad Aymenu. Okay, when you intimidate foes... Where did that go? That is in a different section of the book. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Mm. Uh, okay. All right. I have it in front of me if you want yeah, me to I, read it. I got it. Uh, I just okay. took a little while to find it. Um, okay. Uh, okay. Wow. All right. I don't know why they word it that way. 
but it makes sense. Um, you can see this uh, troll sort of looking around. Uh, it's it's a little bit uh, it's a little bit weary now. Alrighty, uh, Anduin, you are in forward oh, stance too, right? I am. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So I am also going to spend a point of hope because. I'm competitive. You also have I a will bonus not be die. By the dwarf. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, the, I, uh, you have two bonus die then, don't you? Yes. All right. Ooh. So I have um, forward stance would be rolling my three, don't four from Toddles, fifth Price, from Hope. So here we go. Here's target. That's the one. Two. Aha. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Okay, that is a 26 uh, triple success, an extraordinary success. Uh, how would you like to spend those extra successes? I could spend two of them on Pierce to make it a piercing blow, but at this point, I feel like we've done so much raw damage to it. It's probably yeah. better to just do that. I'm going to triple down on heavy blows, <laughs> <laughs> all three, because... Especially if this thing's just sat up and it starts yell, like yelling at the dwarf, and I'm just like, hey, shut up, and I stab it in, in the jaw. Okay. So that would be 5 plus 8, 16, 24, uh, 29 damage. Wow! 29 damage. Uh, you sink the spear right into this thing. Uh, what does it look like as you attack this creature? It is still up, uh, by the way. Yes, I I see the way that it is sat up, and it's growling at Ryoth. And uh, one, don't growl at my friends. Two, it's very distracted. So I, I, I try to actually just impale it through the head, but it's just too thick to really get a good brain stab, so instead I end up just hitting it in the side of the face and running through part of its jaw. Horrific. Uh, this uh, horrific sight is probably, like, right by you, Piper. You see this, like, spear, like, jab through this creature, and there's blood, kind of, that splatters, like, all over the place. It's this really oh. thick, like, dark ichor that just splatters onto the ground. Uh, there's this uh, coppery smell that's all about you as, uh, as this gory sight happens in front of you. The troll looks around a bit wildly, and... It is your turn, Piper. It's my turn. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm still going to uh, be in open stance, and uh, I'm going to attack him with my sword. Once he's down, straight in the eye. Okay. And you have one Do bonus dice. Do I get a bonus die? dice? Yeah, from... But I wasn't in forward. It doesn't it's matter. You get, forward, right? you get a bonus oh. from Piper. Or from Tata. Ah! Awesome. Okay. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. That is a piercing blow. <laughs> you use your keen short sword to stab this thing, and let's see how this goes. My sword's name is Apple. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to make an armor roll here. And you have an injury rating of 16 that this troll needs to beat. And that is a good thing for the bad guys, getting an eye of Sauron. Uh, so, Piper, you go in for the stab in the eye here. Uh, you will get the attack off, but it brings its hand up and doesn't allow you to stab it in the eye. It <gasps> sort of pierces the palm of the hand, and you just now realize like how big this thing's hand is. Like your hand is dwarfed, and the sword looks like a you know like a toothpick getting stabbed into this creature. Ouchie! Where is the dwarf? Don't and talk about. That's it. <laughs> She's just yelling, don't, don't. May I, may I ask a question? Yes. It's, the, the stone troll is weary, so the threes in its roll would not count, right? Uh, do, 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 that is a good point. I do have it set for weary. It even says it on the sheet. So let me just double check. I don't know if it works the same way for monsters. I'm guessing with the Eye of Sauron, it 
passes either way, right? That's yeah, an automatic pass, yeah. but... Uh, I think you, I, I'm going to say you're correct. I don't know where to find that. Um, so, so uh, the total there says zero. So I'm imagining it allows it to succeed because of the eye of Sauron. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. There were no extra successes there. Uh, cause they, they would be down there. I think, um, it would say like extra success. Uh, okay. Um, so yeah, it, uh, it does block it. You do some down. You see some blood drawn on the hand. It's a little bit, but it's there. Uh, okay. Uh, who still has to go? Lantan and Toddles, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, okay. I'm in defensive stance, but if I go to attack, can I push to forward at the beginning of the turn? Or do you yeah, have to do you that? just use your secondary action. You can't move afterwards. All right. So I see everyone doing, you know, all this damage and, you know, and, 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 uh, and Toddles is just doing this, like, mighty roar. And I think whatever shaking I had is... is I, 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 my hands are steady. I, I feel like I can help. So, I push into forward stance and I go running at this thing with my spear out. Um, and I'm going to spend a hope on this. My boy, he's learned well. So I should, do be, it. <laughs> I, I should be getting two bonus die on top of this. So let me go ahead and do that and click on him. Sorry, the window's a little big, so I've got to... There we go. Um, there he is. All right, short spear, clicking on him. Oh, it's not letting me click on him for some reason. Try that again. Oh, there we go. Okay. Two bonus die. Submit, here we go. Oh, oh even with all that. With oh, all boy. that. Wait, 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 wait. Did that roll right? It's not, it's not rolled right, I don't think. Because you only have three dice. You should have one from being in forward, one from He does. He top. rolled... Sorry, continue. One from being in forward, one from your hope, and then does he get one from Toddles? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, wait, you only have one point in spear, right? Yeah, so should I have gotten four? I think I have one so. one point in spear. I think you're supposed to get four, yeah. You need one more d6. Wonky. If you yeah. roll a six, you can still hit. Yep. And it would count as and, an extra success. Uh, let's see how lucky we can get. Oh. No, and which one was your hope die? Or your hope? So, yeah. I, so I've got one point in spear, which would have given me one Gives of the you the D6. ones. Yeah, and right. then the hope and then would have been one. Hope is one, and then mine is one, and then this and one is, is one. the other and one. Okay. Is one. So, yeah. Oh, I, right. So, I, I, I imagine that um, I'm, I am pumped, and I go in for this, and, and I think that I... I don't know, I, I sort of trip on a pebble just enough to miss. I, I think I go under its chin. You know, it's it's like got its hand up, there's a sword in its hand, and I just sort of, oh, and I just sort of like almost limbo underneath it to, to not um, run into it. And I'm on the other side at this point, starting to turn around. Like, what what just happened? And that's my turn. Okie dokie. Uh, Toddles. I went already, right? Mine was then heartened. Oh, yeah, you at went the at the beginning. beginning. I'm, the so yep. mm-hmm. I'm so oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Okay. Uh, the stone troll. All right. Here comes the reckoning. <laughs> Percy! Percy, we've got a little one here. Food, yeah, food. And a dwarf. As it uh, begins to I am the dwarf. tries to stand up, and uh, it will sort of spin around looking for Rioz. Rioz. This stone troll begins to uh, sort of rear back with its club, and it will look like it's about to hit you. And we'll find out what happens after we take a little bit of a break. We're going to take a little bit of a break here, folks. We're going to be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight for more Ashes of Eriador. If you have not done so, please make sure you're following all these wonderful people, please. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back. Oops, that is the wrong command. That is the wrong show. Uh, Ashes. Is that right? There we go. Uh, We'll be back in just a few minutes. Hang tight for more Ashes of Eriador. Back in just a little bit. The troll rears up and will uh, strike out towards you, Riold, 
with its uh, massive club. It raises it up overhead and will try to hit you. Um, it can try. Oh, ouch, jeez. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, um, unfortunately, I get to roll the d12 again, because it does get favored versus dwarves. Where oh, is, no! Oh, no. Where does Weary come into this? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ooh. I don't think that matters. It was already a success. Uh, let me just see what it can do here. Um, that doesn't make any difference for you, uh, because it was still a success. It doesn't affect the success die, uh, but it does bring the club down, and it does hit you. Um, and this is going to be, uh, you have just a two-handed weapon, right? It's just the axe? All right. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is for six damage. It just connects with six damage for you on that one. Okay. And then it attacks again. All right. Oh. Um, and this is favored. And that is another success. Uh, oh. another six damage, uh, as you are, uh, it brings the club down from the left on the first attack, and, uh, you try to bring your axe up, and you do block it partially, but you're not expecting the heft to this blow, so there's a bit of a deflection, and it doesn't matter, the axe, like, actually connects with your body, and the club also hits you, and it just, like, hits you so hard, um, it sort of knocks you against the wall briefly, and then as you bounce back, it will uh, strike you again oh my uh, God. for another six. Uh, okay. Oh, I thought you meant a third attack was in Oh, I did too. Like, oh, serious? shit. No, no. I was like, no. Nah. <laughs> and then from further Drinking down. Drinking with dwarves gave me more of a hangover. <laughs> from further down the uh, no. tunnel, Hobbits. you hear some more <laughs> growling. Why is it Ralph? Food that is it for its turn. It is now top of the round. The old Anduin. Okay. Um, is Toddles doing her war cry thing again this turn and going first or no? No, I'm doing... Um, uh, I'm attacking because I have a bonus die this round. And then I'll switch. And then in, do the other thing, I think, right? Or should I just continue to do this? Um, it's up to I have, you. Yep, up to you. I have no idea how your skill things work. I totally forgot I was Irish for a minute. Okay, um, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll enhearten again. It's, uh, the only thing is that I get pierce and blow at eight mm -hmm. and nine, and I have an extra bonus die if I attack this round. Then attack. Oh, yeah. What yeah. You want to, I just you want yeah. to stab it, is... then stab it. Well, it Go doesn't matter it. to me. I want to be the most effective. So I, it doesn't matter either way. We've okay, done lots well, of damage. There's another in that right case, one. Right. right, in that case, my two cents on this is both Rio and I passed up our opportunities to do piercing blows to instead just hammer the thing. So we're targeting its health. If you're trying to do piercing blows, that's yeah. like a separate health meter you're targeting. So you're just kind of doing your own thing and not Helping I see. Okay. Okay. Then I'll enhearten. Okay. How are you enheartening this time? Hold on. Is my bonus round? Oh, it's on attack rolls. Okay. How am I enheartening? Hmm. I think I am just, I'm actually just, you know, cheerleading. When y'all are hitting, I think I'm just like, oh, amazing job, and, and like, oh, you smacked him like two or three times, and I'm just, I'm like shout casting a little you bit. You almost got him, London, but yeah. not quite. Yeah, you could do it. <laughs> like, yeah, that would totally work for me. I would do so much more damage. Oh, <laughs> great success. Oh. 
which means everybody gets one. Have fun. Okay, so you all get one extra bonus die. Uh, right. Which also means, Lon, you can use your bow if you want, because I'm just in heartening. Oh. Right? Yeah. Does that does that work? You'd have to yeah, use the secondary action to get into rearward stance yes, first. Right, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, who's going next? Our- wow! Holy cow. Jeez, uh, man. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Two more extraordinary successes. Uh, okay. So what would you like to do here, Riolf? Axe goes up. Axe goes down. So okay. I... Yes. What was the thing I did before? I want to do more of that. Okay. That'll be a hurtful blow. Uh, so this is six plus your strength and plus one uh, twice. You're doing two, two hurtful blows? Uh, what other options do I have? Because otherwise, uh, yes. Uh, okay, you can do the one that increases your parry, the fend off, if you'd like to do that. No. <laughs> I'll attack him. <laughs> Okie doke. All right. So uh, what's your strength rating? Seven. Okay. So uh, so this is an additional 16. So this is 22 damage. Uh, you... <laughs> Uh, bring That's the axe right, around, <laughs> and you uh, drive your axe deep in, into its uh, side. You see maybe the like a hint of rib cage a little bit um, as where you bury the axe. <laughs> Bloody dwarves! Nice one on Darwin. Try to keep up. It is still up. I, I, oh. I will go for the, the tag team again while he's smacking the thing. I'm going in. There we go. Get this thing. So let me make sure I'm doing the math right. One. A great success. Ooh. Okay. Uh, great success. How would you like to spend your extra success here? Uh, I... At this point, we're pretty heavily invested into the heavy blow train, so I'm just going to keep it going, just drive my weight into the thing. Okay. Uh, for 13 damage. Okay. Uh, you have a two-handed weapon, uh, so it's the plus one on top of your strength rating. You're doing that, right? Yes. Okay. 13, you said, yes? Correct. Okay. Uh, another deep blow. You can see like a lot of blood has kind of like started to pool up on the various wounds in this thing. It's thick, thick hide. You know, you're starting to see where the wounds are and like it's just th- this thing does not look good. It's it's bleeding a lot right now. I'm amazed that it isn't dead with how hard we've hit it. That's a lot of damage. Mm. Stone trolls. Okay. Uh, who's next? Piper? I think so, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna once again go forward with my sword. And I get a bonus dice, right? Uh, yes, because or of no. Toddles. Oh, yeah? Yes, okay. Toddles have given you yeah, a bonus okay. dice. Yes, absolutely. Oh no. Oh. You almost. You, you almost, if you had somehow managed to beat the target number, you had yeah. two successes. You could have canceled the failure from the Sauron run. It was close. Oh, um, no. But that is a fail, unfortunately. Um, so I, th- I think you do, you know, you do absolutely hit this thing. But its hide is so thick. The sword connects yeah. and it sounds like you're hitting rock. Oh. It sort of bounces off of its uh, off of its side, off of its thigh as you uh, connect with it. Um, okay. Anything else from you, Piper, or uh, shall we move on to Lantin? Uh, that's everything for me. Thanks. Okay. All right. Um, so then, my question is: Is uh, how much do I know about these things? Um, I don't know. So, Bilbo's been in the Shire for a while. He must have been telling that story round and round lore and round. Roll. Yeah. So you can definitely make a lore roll. All right. Shit. All right, well. Missed that one. Uh, yeah, boy, that would have been a lot of fun anyway. Um, all right, well, that being said, 
I'm going to, um, uh, yeah, I'm going to run at it and I'm going to try and, 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 and stab it again. So I will go ahead and move everything around. There we go. Uh, that was spears. And then I get the bonus die for that. So that should be there. Okay, uh, unfortunately, that is a one. This, this man cannot catch a Two break. Ones. I cannot, no. Nope. Uh, that is a miss. Uh, you try and reach out with the short spear. Uh, this time, I think that um, it, you uh, it's just a glancing blow. It just kind of sh- slides across the tough, tough skin of this creature. Is that everyone? Is everyone gone? Yeah, that's, that's, that's all of us. Okay. Uh, the stone troll is going to try and leg it. I'm gonna try to run? Yep. I think we should likely do the same. As it yells out, Percy! Percy! They got weapons at point! Percy! As it uh, begins to rush away, you can see uh, blood sort of falling all around it as it uh, does begin to rush away with its turn. This could be the last so round remember, of combat. I remember earlier on when I was surrounded and I tried to run, it was nearly impossible. Do the monsters not... They don't follow the same rule, do they? They just get to leave. Is that how it works? Yeah, but I will give you guys one extra volley if you would like. If you have any ranged weapons that you would like to try to hit this troll with, you are able to. Or I I would like to offer this to you. Or you can run right now. I would opt to throw my spear at it and then run. Can't do both in this case. Okay. You can choose run uh, or throw okay. your weapon or shoot a shoot a bow. Whichever. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I'm going to throw my spear at the goddamn thing and hit it. How do you kill it? <gasps> yeah. Nice. Actually, actually, hold on. It does have some special BS. I need to roll. Oh, no. Uh, yep, I do have to do this. So this will be a piercing blow. It might not kill it. Let's see. It does have some special sauce here. It's a piercing blow? For this guy, for when it drops to zero endurance? Yes. Oh, I see. They have... <gasps> Ooh. Oh, wow. It will cancel the piercing blow, and it does not fall. The spear has sunk into it. Would have well, killed it here, but right, no luck. Well, given, My given that we, we were given the choice to run or attack, and I think if Rio is attacking, then I'm also pulling the bow and taking a shot as well, since our moment to run is past. I will also fire. Okay. I can't yeah. see it, so... Oh, there it is. Okay. You want to go first, Andawin? Sure, I'll take a shot, although... Yeah, it's not Don't too bright, it. so it didn't Don't realize that it's... Don't forget bonus die. Oh, I'm sorry. Beg your pardon? Don't forget your bonus die. Right, I was about to ask, do I get that bonus die towards the bow? Yeah, why not? It's attack roll. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Is it... I uh, does it you say only close, close combat. Yeah, I think it was. Ah... Uh, yeah, no, I because it's... I rolled a bonus. So in open as well. So, yeah, it oh, okay. is a single success. All those fighting in open stance, but I don't know if that's the same thing. It's not. So forward stance, open oh, stance, and okay. defensive stance are different. Right. I mean, right now, though, if I'm taking a ranged attack, I'm basically rearward at this point, so I don't think I get a bonus either way. No. All right. Um, but with that said, I'm not a horrible shot, so I'm going to try... This thing's not too bright, so it didn't realize it was running back into the torchlight, and you could see it again. (laughs) (laughs) 
Oh, not quite. Uh, Unfortunately, no. The great bow sails past Toddles. I will fire and I will use some hope to do so. Boom! <gasps> that is a success. It has to do another piercing blow save here versus a 14 this time. That is a success. Success. Unfortunately, uh, the arrow does connect again, and it just, uh, it sinks in. It just doesn't look like it's a, it sinks in deeply into its flesh. All right. I, I'll throw my spear because everyone else is doing. Okay. No one's jumping off. Um. Well, if it doesn't die here, it's going to eat somebody else next week, so. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, you know, failure. we've done so much already. That's a fail getter for me, so, yeah. Spear is thrown. Uh, you got one spear stuck into this creature uh, from uh, Riold. The other spear is just kind of clatters nearby on the ground. Somewhere, like, over here. And uh, Piper, are you doing anything? Any ranged weapons or anything you want to use? Well, I do have a bow, um, so I suppose I can sh uh, try shooting my bow at it while we're at it here. Totally oh. up to you. Do I have to uh, choose the Rearward. target this time or no? Uh, oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, so it should, it's right down by the torch, so if you look down, like, southwest, it's down there. Over here. Ah, yes. Okay, one moment. We're getting there. <laughs> well. <laughs> well, it was a valiant um, effort. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the arrow sails plast. <laughs> Uh, uh, batters against one of the walls. Okay, uh, the troll is going to keep running. Are we allowed turn. to chase it? Absolutely, if you'd like to. We would we'd be chasing it directly into another troll. Uh, it really depends on how how jazz we would feel. I mean, not that Putin's would I personally well. have just watched them kick ass, so I don't, you know, I don't realize that the troll is you know, that's abnormal. So I think mm. I'm just like, wow, we're doing great. And, uh, you know, everybody's been making blows. And also in the back of my mind, the troll's just going to eat somebody if we let it live. So. We don't know yeah, how right. many more there are. I, I, I could uh, do with my spear, but uh, we came back for you. But isn't it just going to eat somebody else? We don't know who or what this Percy is. Don't we? I don't. I don't. I don't. I do. I would, right? Uh, I've seen it. I think. Oh, that's right. We well, were right there. We were. Troll. We were in the crack, right? Yeah. yeah. I'm trying yeah. to wonder what did we see? Was it the same thing as this troll or no? Tough call. Maybe. Oh, okay. Oh. It's not. It's the same color and everything. Yeah. And I, mean, I don't know. It's very hard to see in here. Uh, it was probably the same thing. I turn to Handawin. We should leave. Oh. <laughs> oh. I'm definitely looking up at Andawin like. You heard what the troll was hero. saying. You heard what the trolls were saying. The town guard are in on this. Even if we kill the trolls, we're simply going to be haunted by the. But if Man we of kill city. the trolls, and then we can we can we can let the town know what the town guard has been up to, or, and then or they we, really um, have something to stand on then for hey, their if uprising. We, if we don't kill them now, won't they just run away? Scouts, how many do you see down there? One, two, maybe. I I was in a I was in a crack. I don't know. Yeah, I was also in the same crack. Yeah, it was a very tight space. It was very tight. I got stuck. How are you feeling, Rayo? Ah, uh, hurt. But uh, I can go on. Maybe. No. I... 
It's just a troll scratch. <laughs> Let's kill this blasted thing. Ah! Okay! Yeah! Let's, let's start chasing it. Yeah, the pitter patter of feet. <laughs> okay, marching order. Marching order. Um, I'll be up front. I'll be right there with him. I'll be behind them. And I think I'm behind uh, Piper. Uh, oh, we're this. tiny. I'll run next to you. Would uh, this yeah, count so. as a new battle or no? Uh, Should we encounter you, them? Do you have a special thing that you get with a new battle? Uh, aye. Once per battle. Sure, why not? Okay. Okay. So I'm right there behind Andowin. You hear. But I don't see Andowin Yeah, you hear some yelling down further down the tunnel. Percy! Percy! They got weapons! There's a dwarf and a big man and little vermin running around! What are we gonna do? Look what I did to me! I'm all hurt! I'm bleeding! I'm stuck like a pig! What are we gonna do, Percy? Why, Ralph, are you some kind of mouse or are you some kind of troll? I'm a troll, Percy! I'm a troll! Well then, quit your belly aching. What are you doing? Get your club. We got foods to make, foods to eat. Come on in. All right, Ralph, but you go first. <laughs> you hear more uh, uh, rushing forward as you see a differently clothed, uh, equally large uh, stone troll leading the way. Uh, this one doesn't look hurt. Uh, it just looks really, really upset uh, as um, the other follows behind. All right. We are about to enter a new combat here. Zoom out the map to get the audience as much as possible, which will be kind of tough, but I will do my best. Uh, during that time, uh, for the troll to run away and speak to his friend, how deep would we have been able to go through, and would we have been able to recover this spear? Absolutely. If that's where you would like to be, yes. Okay. Um, I don't know how far we chase this thing, but if we chase it past this torch, I'm pulling the torch off the wall so I can see what I'm doing. Well, we'll say you guys can get about there. Well, I'm behind you, but you need to move your token, Andawin. Oh, okay, so we haven't gone that far at all. Here we go. Okay. Uh, new combat. If, uh, you would like to, there can be some, uh, opening volleys here. Um, we are now entering combat, uh, so this will be the starting volley. So if you have any ranged weapons that you would like to use, you can use those right now. As you see, the trolls begin to pick up large rocks. Only... Can I do my enhearten thing? Not on this. Or... This is the opening okay, volley. That's fine. Then I will do a ranged attack then. Sure. Basically, the way that the the structure works is opening volleys, and then we move into the stances. Where's the and troll? Luffy. Is this the troll we were fighting before? Looks yeah, like can a you tell different which one. one. Is, this one is. Oh, the one Sorry, in the back one is, is the one that looks wounded. Okay. All right. Okay. I I will target the one that we have been fighting this whole time because I know he can't have yes! much left. Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice! That is piercing a piercing blow. blow. Uh, okay. That's a great piercing blow. Yes. Uh, so, what you can do, let's see here. I think you can do. It won't really matter either way. Um, let me see. She could add a heavy blow onto her piercing blow, correct? It's it's kind of already almost dead. 
So, uh, it, it just basically, it keeps getting to roll these piercing blows. This is, it has hideous toughness. Um, right. so it basically gets to do a piercing blow save, and it doesn't die if it succeeds. Uh, okay. So it will basically just try to do this. So even if you do a heavy blow, it, it won't really affect anything. Um, but you... Okay, so we're waiting for it to fail the save. Yes. Yeah. Over and over. But, but... But so, but what can I do with the uh, extra one? Let me see if you can do anything else that might be beneficial. Um, I don't know Where how do much... I look for those? Uh, it's under the combat section, uh, which is chapter six. Uh, oh, page. I thought it was a handout. My apologies. Uh, uh, I don't have. I don't think bows get anything mm-hmm. other than the pierce. Yeah, I think it's just okay. the piercing blow. Yeah. Uh, no, heavy blow. Heavy blow is any weapon. Um, so heavy blow and piercing blow are possible with bows. So can right. You, well, I meant you, I meant because you, you had just said the Pearson blow, though, right? So he has to roll twice. Um, sure. Why not? I legit don't know, so why not? <laughs> That's one success for the Sauron <laughs> room. <laughs> oh. Okay. And another oh. just barely oh. made the success on the other one. Uh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, the arrow comes perilously close to its eye. I think it actually sticks into its head. It just doesn't go in that far. Like, he's looking around. It's in my head, Percy! The arrow's in my head! It's not in your brain, is it? Not like we'd be able to tell. And, uh, yeah. Almost. All right. I'll take my crack at it. See if I can't get the arrow in deep enough. Uh, I will... I will use another point of hope. Burn that hope like there's no tomorrow. Here we go. I hoped you would. Ooh. <laughs> Just barely. Okay. That is a right success. on the money. And I take it you're aiming for the wounded one again? Yes. Okay. Has to be to 16 this time. Come on. Fail your roll already. <laughs> oh, it's success. unkillable. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this thing is starting to look like a porcupine. It's got a spear <laughs> stuck in it. It's got arrows <laughs> stuck in it. Uh, horrible wounds all over the place. It's looking terrible. Will um, this confounded troll not die? I'll try and throw the spear that's on the ground. <laughs> I can't die! I can't die, Percy! <laughs> Ooh, With a look at me! Oh, a weary failure. Uh-oh. Uh, yes. Uh, unfortunately, you're swinging, and you can feel all of your muscles kind of like the lactic acid has built up real... You've been fighting now for quite some time, and these creatures have done some damage to you. Swinging the, your axe this much in this much armor is pretty tiring. Uh, as your spear whoosh, throws it and misses. Clang, 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 clang. Lands on the uh, ground nearby uh, as it connects with the wall. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Anybody else? Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to shoot my bow. Okay. At, at the heart one. <laughs> you have so. reclaimed your spear as well. You did have an opportunity to get that. Okay. So let's go ahead and do this, and I'm going to burn a hope as well because we need it, please. Oh, great success. Okay. Come on, roll like shit, please. All right, this is a versus a 14. That <gasps> is a fail. Finally. <gasps> uh, I can't be killed, Percy. I, I can't be. <laughs> Percy, I don't think I lied. <laughs> Ralph, I do that. Ralph, Ralph. <sighs> Troll looks towards you, Lawton. Of course. Um, I in, in a, a rare moment of bravery after that. You're next. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I know. Anybody else in this volley, this uh, opening think... volleys? Piper? I believe the volley is over. 
the Piper uh, opening volleys are just for like ranged stuff, right? Yeah, just like, yeah. Everybody yeah. get yeah. Basically, if you have a ranged weapon, you can use it in opening volley. Okay, I'll try to do. Uh, I don't know if I'll be successful because I'm not super strong in my bow, but might as well give it a try. It's a free attack. Got nothing to lose. Take the shot. Yeah. Well, okay. <laughs> I miss. <laughs> An attempt was made. Yes, at least you tried. Uh, <laughs> the arrow sails past, uh, landing in the dirt nearby. Okay, the stone troll. Picks up a boulder and will throw it uh, towards you, Lantin. Oops. Uh, sorry, that was incorrect. I goofed on that oh. one. Right. I need to re-roll that, sorry. Did not reset it for the other troll. Oh, that is a miss, though. The boulder lands right nearby, Lantin, and it's almost as oh. big as you are. Uh. <laughs> Why did I say that? Okay, <laughs> and now we are in regular combat stances. You guys can move okay. into your stances here. I am in forward, and uh, I'm going to... Wait, me first. Okay. I'm going to do the enhearten thing. Damn. Um, mm. Hurry. Nice try. No. Oh, it's a good try. Uh, weirdly, I'm going to remove I'm my going helmet. To. I can't uh, I'm see. Go mm. I'm go going to like, mm. take my... I want to take my spear and just kind of put it in front of Rio. When, when he's about to move into this forward stance, so I'm kind of like holding him back ever so slightly. Not stopping him from attacking at all, just like, you know, slow down, be careful. Okay, as I get stopped, you see maybe a flash of anger across my eyes, but then acknowledgement. Then I run anyway. Paru Kazad! Kazad Aymenu! And I'm going to use Baruch Kazad. Running at the, the, the uh, creature. Oh, also I removed my helmet. That was the action I was doing before. Oh, okay. Now, um, I know, oh. I know mm -hmm. audience, you are wondering, why would you remove a helmet when you were about to fight a troll? That's a great question. Uh, what you can do is you can shed some of your weight from your character to make it easier to hit things when you are growing weary. Uh, so Ryold has basically all covered in sweat underneath his helmet, and he's just discarded his helmet so that he can see and fight a little bit better at the cost of, uh, potential armor. Aye. And now I am going to attack the creature with a favored, uh, axe attack. Two-handed, uh, long-hafted axe on the creature. One sec. Uh, no bonus die. However, it's favored, so we'll see if it rolls twice. Uh, that did not roll twice. Why isn't it doing that? Uh, you, just out of curiosity, you click mm -hmm. the, the actual favored hip? Oh, I did not, no. Okay. N not this time. Okay. With an eight, I would succeed. Yes, you would. Uh, that is a hit. And that is six damage, right? Um, yes. Okay, that is it. You connect with the ax. Uh, it's sunk a little bit into the uh, tough hide. You hear like a, a grating sound, almost like you're sharpening your ax as it sinks into the flesh. <laughs> Dwarf! Okay. And I glare at it with, in the eye. And in the low lights, you see the, uh, the torch lights flicker in my eyes, making them in the darkness flicker red and uh, dark as I, well, try to intimidate the creature. Yes. Which is and with the Gandalf rune, you do. I, what do you think happens? I think it shits itself. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> there's, there's wow! No. He didn't mean it literally. <laughs> no. Oh, well, I meant it quite literally. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. There's, there's definitely like a little bit of silence, and then like a. Not again! 
<laughs> Horrid <laughs> smell fills the cavern <laughs> as the troll kind of looks down and says, Oopsie. And Anduin, it is your turn. Uh, simultaneously, al almost with, um, with Rio's hit and intimidation, like uh, only like one second later, the, you know, coming for the attack. There it is. No successes, but a hit nonetheless. I'll take my five damage. Okay. Uh, the spear actually, the spear actually right over Rio's head. <laughs> like I just stab over him because I'm tall enough to basically ignore him being in the way. And that is all. Alrighty. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. Uh, Toddles, Lawton, Piper. I don't know which stances you are in. Whichever. Uh, room. I'm. I already went. Okay. Um, I did the in heart and failed. I'm in defensive, so I believe I'll go last. Okie dokie. Uh, Piper? I will be in open. All right, you are up next. Okay. Uh-oh, one second. I'm running up so that I can actually hit him. Uh-oh. That is a miss, unfortunately. You uh, yeah. rush up, uh, you know, excited, sword is raised, uh, and playing, it kind of, it bounces off of it. You do, you definitely hit it. It's not particularly fast. It's not very good at dodging any of your attacks. It's just so uh, tough. The hide is so yeah. tough, and it feels like stone as you clatter your sword against it. Um, okay. Lantan? I don't know if I can do this or not, but I think that um, I'm probably pretty shaken after the boulder lands in front of me, so um, everyone is run up there. Am, am I... Can I act like a rogue and sneak immediately? I mean, not, you know, like, can, can you stealth in the middle of a fight? I'm not trying to run away. I just think that he had his, his sights on me, and I'm very freaked out. I'm sorry, say that one more time? So, since, since he threw the boulder at me, I think that I... I'm scared, so am I able to stealth right here? I don't know if that's allowed. Ooh. I feel like combat doesn't really normally allow you to do that stuff, but it makes right, sense yeah, to no. me. I mean, it's kind of like you... You're kind of, like, almost retreating um, yeah. from the combat. That's kind of what it sounds like. Yeah, um, but I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't leave, so I don't, I don't think I'd do that. But I was curious if I could. Um, I, I imagine if I was trying to run away, I could. Okay. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Um, I'll tell you what, uh, yeah, make a stealth roll. Sure. Well, and before I do this, I also have the art of disappearing, which makes me blend into mm -hmm. anything with a great success. Yeah, absolutely. If you would like to, you can technically be out of this fight. It will, the troll does not know you are here. You can also potentially use it to give yourself a surprise attack. Um, and the way that I will do this is um, what, if you want to attack while you are stealth here, I'm going to make uh, a roll for the troll to All see right. if it notices you. Otherwise, you get a bonus die to attack. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll do that. I, I, yeah. Yeah. All righty. Alrighty, uh, so that's it for the round. Then it is the Stone Troll's turn. Um, and Ryold, you have attacked it, uh, as well as Andawin. Um, and it, uh, it does have a hatred for dwarves, so it's going to Night. attack you with a favored roll, uh, and try and smash you real good. Not, not too good though, right? Oh. Oh. That is a piercing blow, my friend. I'm sorry. With a club? Yeah. Wait, uh, clubs can I, I thought clubs couldn't pierce. It, it, when it actually rolls a piercing blow, it can. Oh. Yeah. Uh, and, unfortunately, 
It has horrible strength. Uh, it's going to spend a hate to make your roll ill-favored as you try and roll protection. Okay. So, so there is an ill-favored. Ill yeah, there's an ill-favored pip. Mm -hmm. And then protection. Where do I roll protect? Bottom right of your sheet. Bottom right of the sheet. I see. Okay. Rolling. Hop! Hop! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, sure, with one hope. <laughs> <gasps> sorry, oh. I'm so sorry. Oh. I thought you were dying, dude. Holy oh. fuck! <laughs> so. Holy fuck! That, sorry. Just to clarify, it is not a death, it would be a wound. Wounds are bad. Two oh. wounds are very bad and are close to death, but it's not outright death. Just to clarify, it works differently for player characters than it does for uh, monsters. Okay, but this is a great success. I don't think you get anything special on this for an extra success on a protection roll, if I'm not mistaken. Resistance to all future wounds. <laughs> Just forever. Mm -hmm. Just forever. Forever, no wounds ever. Uh... Let's find out. Yeah, I'm checking. I don't know where to find it, though. Looking under the wounds right now. Uh. No. Oh. Piercing blow. Hip air piercing blow. Big die. I don't think you get anything special. I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say you get a bonus parry, you get an extra parry for this combat. Okay. Actually, no. I'm sorry. For this round. For, for this round. round. Yes. Uh, and it will try and hit you again. Uh, by the way, the damage still happened. It was still six damage. Oh. Oh, great. And then we'll try and hit you with the club again. That is another success. <laughs> You see Rio take two heavy blows, trying to block with his axe, but he's kind of like not able to get his arms fully locked into place to block it, and he's quickly battered to the side against some of the rocks. You see his knee like take a hard shot as he uh, moves to the side, and uh, just in front of you, Piper, this uh, larger dwarf just kind of smacks his knee hard into the stone. You swear you can see his like a crack in the stone where he just hit it. Um, <laughs> dwarf, how dare you kill my brother? And that is it for the round. New round. Okay. Who's attacking first? Me. And Harton, everybody gets it. Or not everybody, but everybody in forward stunts. You hear Toddles uh, speak up yet again, uh, enheartening the group as uh, you get uh, another bonus die to your attacks. And this is for people in uh, in the forward and open stances. Uh, okay. Oh, both? Yes, forward, it, forward and open. Because she rolled a... Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. It is forward only because she rolled a regular forward success. forward only. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Who's next? Right. Uh, I, I'm going to jump to the head of the line. Uh, I'm already in forward stance, and it, Rio is um, getting Not wailed on. Too so. good. Yeah, I, I am, I am like, actually leaping over him. <laughs> I just jump over him and, and get between him and the troll and go for the stab. Um, there you go. For you. Have a shank. Oh, it was a nice roll, too. Would have been a great success. I got a Sauron oh. rune. Unfortunate. Um, uh, yeah, I, how do you think this misses as you try and strike out at this stone troll? I think for like the first time in the entire battle, it actually blocks. 
<laughs> like, like it's mainly just been sitting there, just uh, uh, like being. Because this is too, a different one, right? So it's too yeah. thick to her. Yeah. Well, this one's the smarter one of the two, yeah, obviously, yeah. from the way they were talking. So I think when I make a big move and go for it, it actually like holds up the stick. <laughs> and I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't realize they could do that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, that's my turn. I have nothing else. Okay. Who's next? Uh, I suppose it's me. Hmm. There's not much I can do. I can't not make it hit me, so I guess I'll hit it first. I'm going to, with my long-hafted axe, swing There's down. There's defensive stance. I'm just throwing it out there. <laughs> oh, okay. I move into defensive stance. Uh, can you move to defensive stance? You do have a spear. Yes. I... Wait, can I not be in defensive stance with my axe? Good question. I'm not sure. I felt like I read I'm something that said no to that. Fairly sure I could. Wait, really? I thought so, right. but I'm, I might be. I'm, I might be wrong. Um. Uh, Heroes can freely assume any close combat stance at the start of the round. Unless it's like specifically listed under axes, I don't see such a thing. Yep, you're good. No worries. Okay. All right, so I'm going to shift. I'm not going to... Uh, retreat per se. But I am going to take a more defensive stance. Maybe my left leg steps backwards, the one on the ground, the knee just stays planted. And I'm going to swing horizontally and hope that I connect. Okay. Uh, oops. What happened there? One second. Why is it Syntax Eric's that no oh, there we go. Click on the thing. Bonus die is zero because of course I have uh Piper. Yeah, and it's moved it to zero. No. Right. You because you had a negative from the uh from defensive, right? Yes. Okay. But it's a weary failure. Yeah, unfortunate. Uh, weary failure, uh, you try and swing your axe, trying to sort of push the, uh, stone troll back as, uh, you try to recover a little bit, um, you back off, and, uh, unfortunately it's just more like a wave of the axe as opposed to an actual strike, and it, uh, just kind of clatters off of this thing's chest. Okay. We both rolled the Eye of Sauron this turn, that's not good. I of Sauron. <laughs> All right. Wait, why was your roll ill-favored? Is that intentional? Um... Is it because you're weary? Oh, no, it, it was an accident, wasn't it? It, it was, was ill-favored. So, mm -hmm. it was still an 11 first. It still would have been an 11, 11 first. Yeah. Nice. Right. Good spot, thank you. Yeah, you gotta uh, just try and keep an eye out. I'll try whenever I can to look out for the sheets. The sheets are, like, a little wonky, I think. They just kind of miss stuff sometimes. Hmm. Okay, that is my turn, then. Okay. Uh, alrighty. Um, Riolth taking a bit of damage. Uh, who is next here? Piper? I will Orlando? go. Yeah, okay. I'm going to go forward. Um, I'm going to change to forward so I can get that little buff there. Okay. Um... Woohoo! Nice. Okay, great success. So, with a short sword, you can do a few different things. Uh, I don't know if it can be a piercing blow. I think it was just a plus one. Yeah, swords, you, this can't be a piercing blow. Uh, you would Her need to have. weapon is keen. It pierces on a nine, does it not? Oh! That is on my mm. I don't know how too. your brain yeah. manages to remember all this stuff, man. <laughs> it is incredible. Uh, I believe you are correct. 
Um, so that should be that should be a piercing blow. If you want to try for a piercing blow, uh, you can try that, or you can do a heavy blow, or you could do a uh, you can try and fend fend off. I think because I'm in forward stance, it gives him a better chance to hit me next time, right? So I think I'm gonna stick with parry so that he can't. Um... Oh, actually. Mm. Piercing blow is pretty good. He's not damaged at all, right? All but anyway. Piercing blow is kind of like, it's usually the best one that you can do if you have that option. Um, Okay, then I will do that one. I will do that. Piercing blow is definitely our best chance at surviving this fight. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I I don't know. So yeah, I'll I'll do uh, piercing blow. This is your second fight, so I don't mind trying to help (laughs) whenever I can. uh, I think Andorin's even yelling at you right now. Go for the heart. Aim for the eyes. Stop hitting it on the hide. (laughs) Okay. Yes, I will do a piercing blow. Okay, uh, let's see. It's going to roll uh, protection against a 16. That is another <gasps> sour. I rolled like sour three of those man. on those protections. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you still do the damage, though. Uh, it is gonna deal some damage. Uh, you do manage to strike a blow, and you see some blood shoot out as you strike with your sword, uh, but you do sort of miss, like, where you would imagine one of its, uh, arteries is on the leg. Dang. Um, okay. Uh. Is it intended to have favored rolls? I notice it's getting favored protection rolls. It is not. Uh, without that, it fails. No, it rolled an eleven as the first die. That was a uh, that's still the sour on run. Oh right, I see. Yes. Uh, no, Damn. it's not. Sorry about that. Um, good, good catch. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, Lonton, you're staying high. You're staying hidden, right? Well, yeah. So, so how can I attack with the the, the hidden thing? We'd. Um... That was this turn, right? Or was that last turn that you that you um, stealthed? I, I, I stealth last turn, but okay. I never... So, yeah. if you would like to, you can try and strike right now. You are kind of hidden, and the way that we can do this is I'll roll for the troll to see if they notice you. Otherwise, you'll get a bonus die. Okay. Um, I think that's a, a... I'm probably... I've inched over to the wall, and maybe I see enough of a shadow that I think I can do a, a running stab. So, I'm going to go forward stance, and I'm I'm sort of tiptoe running as fast as I can to, because I heard Anduin say, go for the heart, and I'm going to try and aim for that, even though it's very tall. <laughs> um, let's see, where... Okay, let me roll for you first. Let me sure. see what we get here. Um, how shall I do this? Hmm. How shall I do this? It's not very aware. I'm gonna just roll and see if it gets an eye of Sauron. I'm gonna roll a D12 on my on my die. All right. So get... Oh, I got a two. All, All right. right. You so, get a bonus die. So I get a bonus die from that. I get a bonus die from the attack mod going forward and from Toddle. So I get three bonus dies on this. No, I failed. Oh no, no you you. I you didn't succeeded. fail the last time. You're right. Yeah. And I'm going yeah. forward. I am. Okay. Three, I, please. Oh, great success. I'm going to pierce it. <laughs> uh, so I don't think you can. You're too no! far off. Because uh, it's a five plus, and I think you get a bonus three with a bow. You have to hit a ten, basically. No, this is a bit. spear. I, I'm running oh, with a spear. Oh, this is the spear. Yeah, I ran Ooh. with the spear. So it's still, a, it's, I think it's a plus three with a spear. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Sure. But you have to hit a ten That's- on the feet die. It is a three. He can't get the pierce. Yeah. All right. Well, you can I'll go s- for a heavy blow. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Heavy blow. Heavy blow extra or fend off. No, no. Any any damage I can do, I'm doing it. Okay. So uh, what is your strength rating? Two. So. <laughs> it is a two-handed plus one. weapon. So that's a plus damage one. Damage is damage. Every point yeah. counts. So it's an extra yeah. three. That's good. Yeah. All there right. we go. I get. I got a solid six out of that. So Lonton rushes up from out of nowhere, uh, from the shadows. You see him 
uh, <laughs> rush up, wiggling uh, his little butt as he rushes forward with the spear and will uh, sink it into the flesh of the stone troll. <laughs> What did that? What did you fling at you? Okay. That is it for all of your turns. The stone troll raises its club up and takes aim at Rioth. And that is where we're going to end the session today. (laughs) Rioth. Looking pretty rough right now. Let's we'll see what happens next time. However, oh, quick question: Are we supposed to be able to see each other's health meters? Because I can't. Uh, no, not by default. No. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good session, everybody. Uh, we're gonna go around the room, do some shoutouts and whatnot. Okay. Um, and uh, let's start off with Meyer today. Why don't you start us off there, buddy? Hello, my name is Meyer, uh, Echo. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Meyer or on Twitter at twitter.com slash Meyer underscore test. I've been doing a bunch of gaming news stuff recently, um, as well as uh, following the ongoing, everlasting, never stopping, never ceasing. Uh, I'm talking about the uh, <laughs> the troll or Star Citizen's development, I don't know. But uh, either way, <laughs> uh, you can find me on my channel doing stuff. Uh, today was a lot of fun. Uh, our first combat as a group, so a uh, big milestone there. Massive opening, uh, but uh, <laughs> I'm, t- I'm taking some damage here, whack. <laughs> I'm taking some damage. Sorry, That's buddy. <laughs> I have a hatred for trolls. Yeah. Or for uh, dwarves, rather. Sorry. I okay. have the hatred for trolls. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank PB. you. Uh, hi, I'm Pumpkinberry. You can find me at Twitch and Twitter at Pumpkinberry. I'm also jamming on Tuesdays for Kingmakers and on Wednesday for Spellwind. And that's it. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much, PB. Uh, please make sure you go follow the wonderful Pumpkinberry. She's also uh, doing some Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, she's doing the fifth one, Phantom Pain. It's really great. Go watch, please. Uh, oh. Murgles. Hello, I'm Murgles. Uh, I stream Mondays through Fridays at 2 p.m. my time CEST or 8 a.m. EST. You can come check me out. I'm working on an animated film. Uh, So yeah, if you want to see how animated films get made, you can see that. Um, And I'm also on Kingmakers on Tuesdays. So thank you so much. Thank you. Aaron. Hi, everybody. My name is Aaron. I'm a writer. I wrote a book. And if you want to know more about that, you can find me over at uh, Aaron B. Writes on Twitter. And yeah, I'm wondering if Rioth is going to die. I, I feel like he's going to die. No. <laughs> I'm really sorry. We, we could have run. We should have run. You see, I've already started rolling up my next character, you know, like. Uh... <laughs> he could have not run into battle when Anduin held him back. So. That, that's true. That's true. That it's was, not like I tried to stop moving. him twice. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least, Fairlight. Hello, I'm Fairlight underscore Excalibur on Twitch. Links are in chat. You can go follow me. I'm streaming uh, different games every day. Usually, lately, I've been on a strategy game kick. Uh, we're working on a RimWorld colony playing War Tales and a bunch of other stuff. And that's uh, that's about it for me. Keep short but sweet. Thank you so much, buddy. Like uh, my entire adventuring party. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Mike Steven. <laughs> I've been your uh, GM of Doom. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. As always, chat, we appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you to my wonderful players. Thank you so much, Fairlight. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you, Murgles. Thank you, PB. Thank you, Meyer, for being awesome role players. I appreciate you. Um, we'll see what happens next week. Um, but please make sure you follow all of these wonderful people. And if you have yourself a Prime Gaming sub that you haven't used yet, consider throwing it their way. Get yourself some emotes. Support these wonderful people, please. They totally deserve it. They're wonderful human beings and wonderful role players. Please go, please go do that. Uh, or if you just have piles of money and just want to 
you know, just throw money at the screen. Go do that. Go throw money at them. They're wonderful. Um, I also do a show here called 100 Club. That is on Mondays. It is a uh, sci fantasy, dark comedy kind of thing. Go check that out. Um, and uh, yes, as PB said, make sure you check out Kingmakers. Um, and uh, we have Spellwind on Wednesdays. Go check that out. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Peace out. Also, new show. Yes, we have a Star Wars show. If you did not see On the Breaks, we have uh, we have the uh, trailers playing for you. It's also on YouTube. Go check it out. Thank you so much. Peace out. Have a wonderful rest of your Thursday. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs>